Hey guys, it's Kinsar Vitu here and welcome back to another Bread and Career mode on FIFA 17. We're back, we're still in the uh, winter transfer window right here in Season 3. And we got some offers actually. Um, we got an offer for Lewis Cook from Swansea City. They're offering us 8.5 million. Uh, Lewis Cook is valued at 10 million as well. Um, so, I mean, um, actually I'm just going to reject this guy because... He's a really good backup uh, midfielder for us, so I'm just going to keep him. And Alright, so another player we got uh, a transfer for is uh, Fikoya Tamori, who I put on the uh, on loan. And we're going to like, want, uh, want to get him on a one-year loan, so I'll gladly accept that and let him go. Alright, so with the signing of uh, Tussard and a possible new defender coming in, we also got Reese Oxford back from loan as well, so even if you don't accept that uh, Hernandez deal, we still got Oxford back from loan, so I guess it's time to say goodbye to this guy who I got on a free like a couple of seasons ago. Um, he actually lasted pretty long, longer than I expected. Um, um, I think uh, after we started the original career mode and now he's got an upgrade in FIFA and uh, in my other career mode he was never this good and I guess since after the upgrade he's managed to stay even longer in my career mode but he's already reached his potential 20 years old um, might as well get some sort of money out of this guy so um, Marcel has offered us 2.4 million but I'm gonna counter offer this with um, let's hope they can give us three and a half million if not I'll probably go down to three million all right so I know I made an offer for uh, Lucas Hernandez but I think we have a better upgrade now John Stones uh, I made an offer for John Stones from Man City. Man City seemed to have accepted the same deal for Lucas Hernandez. I'm offering three Hernandez for John Stones. No money is being offered and they have accepted it. So I'm going to offer John Stones his desired wage. And unlike uh, Lucas Hernandez, we actually can see um, John Stones overall rating. So he's going to be, uh, I believe he's three years older than uh, Theo Hernandez. But could play a center back and he's just a one rating below. But unlike uh, Lucas Hernandez, um, I think uh, John Stones have a higher potential than Theo Hernandez himself. So I think this should be a better move. So I'm going to offer 90000 a week for three years. And hopefully he accepts it. Alright, so uh, I did kind of offer Marcel with 3.5 million. But they came back with the 2.6 million. Uh, I'm going to bring it down to maybe 3.2 million. I'm not going to go exactly down to 3 million yet. But 3.2 and then maybe 3 million. Alright, so I got a loan offer for um, Reese Oxford again. Um, I feel like um, we're not going to play him at all, but if we do sell Diego Reyes, who I just put on the transfer list, um, I might uh, want to keep Oxford, so at this moment, I'm going to put on stall. Alright, so John Stones has accepted his contract, and I think um, this is a good uh, deal to do. Um, John Stones for Theo Hernandez, although he is going to go to a, a Premier League rival, um, don't mind, we'll still be getting another player from them anyway, so welcome John Stones to the club and say goodbye to Theo Hernandez. Oh my god, I still don't know if what I just did was uh, the, probably the best decision. I know I left you guys in the last episode with uh, a decision of one choice of um, so I, uh, sell Theo Hernandez for Lucas Hernandez on the same similar deal. Um, but I think John Stones is a better uh, player because if with Lucas Hernandez, we are getting a center back, but we're getting a center back that's a year older and his potential is uh, one less than Theo Hernandez. But in um, John Stone's case, we're getting a player that's three years older than uh, Theo Hernandez, but at the same time, his potential is uh, one higher than Theo Hernandez. So I think this is better. So I'm, I'm going to put him right into the team. Um, yeah, just put John Stone's right in straight, uh, straight in the lineup. And there we go. That's a. <laughs> Uh, back three right there. All right, so now with that sighting completed, we'll just start this uh, episode off with our first game against Stoke City in the Premier League. All right, so for uh, our game against Stoke City, our lineup uh, looks exactly the same. The only difference is now we have Stones at uh, um, our back three. I don't know if <laughs> I should line them, um, line them up exactly like this, or Reyes or Stones, but uh, whatever. I think I don't think it really matters. Those are my back three. Um, that's pretty much the only difference. In my bench, we have Mavogo. This guy, he's still with our uh, squad. I might be able to sell them, maybe. Elena, Havertz, OC Man, Cook, and Onekru. 
All right, so we start off this game against Stoke City. We are playing the home team again, and let's just hope uh, we get the three points in this Premier League game. All right, here's Francisco Geraldes on the wing. Cuts back. Does all right there. But I give it a ball away to Isaac, and, but it gets stolen off of. No way. How do we did not clear that? Who's this kid? That guy looks like Graham Sterling. No, flipping way. Oh, uh, why is Billy up <laughs> all the way at the back? Oh my god, that's why we couldn't clear it away. That's Branio with the goal. It didn't give Stoke a big lead now. <laughs> Shit, we have to score another goal. Nice throw to Isaac. I took a cut back. Can we get a ball through? No, we can't. Holy shit, it's like a stoke are playing a park the bus right now. Alright, here's Emery Moore on the ball. Emery Moore to Locatelli. Locatelli with the shot and it gets blocked by a stoke defense. And I'm just trying to steal the ball right back, but they just keep on clearing it away from danger. Alright, Emery Moore again. I'm gonna cut back with Emery Moore. Give it to Locatelli. Locatelli with the shot and it gets saved by the keeper. Alright, I'm gonna go for short corner. Gerald is now on the ball. Sends it across. Can we get a header? Holy shit, man! Come on! Yo, Jack Bunnell in FIFA is just OP. Let's do it again. Maybe, can we? This time it doesn't work out. Alright, here's Locatelli. Let's go for a long strike. And again, Jack Bunnell. He's not letting anything, anything go in. Alright, I'm gonna go for a regular corner this time. <laughs> that doesn't work out either. Alright, here's Locatelli. Locatelli to Conte. Conte with the shot, and again, Jack Butland. To be honest, that, might, that was an easier save than the last shot, but whatever. Alright, here's Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey's gonna take him off himself, and again, Jack Butland with another easy save. Alright, here's Isaac on the ball. Isaac gonna go for a shot. Are you kidding me? It hits the freaking crossbar. Oh, unbelievable. Here's Isaac again with the shot and finally, oh my goodness, oh, after hitting the crossbar, he finally hits the back of the net, he finally beat this keeper. Holy shit, look at that, you on the replay, the ball's in the air like that, and Locatelli with the assist and Isaac with the incredible goal. Alright, so after that goal, I'm going to make some substitution right now, let's take off Locatelli for Elena, I'm going to take off uh, the goal scorer Isaac for OC Man. And I'll make the third substitution for later. Really Alright, here's Emery Moore. Emery Moore with the shot. That should be a corner. Alright, I'm going to make the last substitution right here. I'll take off Leon Bailey for Orne Crew. And hopefully the added pace will help us. Alright, I'm going for a short corner. Orne Crew, who just came off the bench with a send across. Can we get the header to it? That's another corner. Alright, this time we're another short corner. Gerald is now. Sends in across. Please tell me this time we would get a header to it. And looks like we're going to get a point in this game. Oh my goodness. We've been attacking the whole second half. It's just a shame that we only got one goal out of it. Oh my goodness, man. We had way more shots than uh, our opponents. And they just got one lucky goal in the first half. Actually, the first shot they ever took was just managed to go in. Um, Brian Neal got lucky right there with the goal. But man of the match went to Francisco Geraldes, who got the assist. I know I said Logotelli, but... Okay, I make mistakes like that. Um, Gerald has actually got the assist. He gets a 9.4. And Isaac, who got the goal, gets a 9.1. Alright, so we get news right here that uh, Marcel has accepted a 3.2 million counter offer for um, Michael right here. So he could be on the move now. Alright, so now we have an offer for Diego Reyes. Tottenham Hotspur want him for 15 million. But I'm going to counter this offer uh, with 20 million and see what uh, Tottenham have to say about that. Alright, so Spurs came back with a counter offer of 19.5 million. Don't know why they just uh, a counter offer with just a half a million short. Um, I'm gonna counter offer again with 20 million, man. <laughs> Come on, Spurs, you can afford that extra half. Alright, so we get news right here that Michael, also known as this guy in our career mode, he has been officially sold to Marseille for 3.2 million, and we're getting 2.5 million out of that deal. Alright, so I made an offer for Callum Chambers, Arsenal's Callum Chambers. Um, I made, I'm, I'm only offering, uh, making an offer for a center back because we also sending uh, Diego Reyes. So, I mean, I know we're getting Marquinhos, but he's only coming next season. So we still need a center back for this season. And then once Marquinhos come back, um, I'll probably put this guy in our B team. 
But for now, I'll just sign him for our first team. I'll give him $80,000 a week um, for three years and submit offer. And also, Diego Reyes, or Tottenham Hotspur has accepted that $20 million offer for Diego Reyes, so he could be on the move. And uh, again, uh, I forgot to mention how much we uh, we're, are getting Calm Chambers for. Uh, I offered Arsenal $10 million, which they accepted right away, so hopefully that works out. Alright, so automatically, Callum Chambers has accepted uh, his contract. 10 million again, as you can see today, 10 million for 80,000 a week. But I'm also uh, making an offer for another 10 million back, so I'd rather get sign that uh, player um, than uh, Callum Chambers. So I'm going to put this guy on hold and wait for the other deal. And meanwhile, Diego Reyes has been confirmed. He's moved to Spurs for 20 million, and we're getting 17 and a half out of that deal. Alright, so now we have another game, the Premier League against Watford this time, and I'll be playing this game. Alright, so we got this game against Watford. Again, we're the home team in this game, and let's just hope of, uh, we get another three points. Alright, here's Pereira on the ball. Pereira with the fake shot. I'm trying to give the ball away. Here's Conte. Let's go for a long range draw. Oh shit, <laughs> hit that player. Another shot, and we get a corner. No referee, that's, that's not a red. Oh my goodness, he gave a straight red. I swear to God, that was a clean challenge. <laughs> and again, it's delit with a straight red. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, I agree with that. I tripped the player first. Oh my goodness. I thought that was a straight challenge, though. I would have never gone for it if I knew that's going to happen. Alright, here's Pereira on the ball. Pereira's going to go for a shot. Oh my goodness, it hit our own player. Oh, Isaac just got in the way. Alright, here's Isaac on the ball. Isaac, we'll go for a shot, and there we go. Isaac finds a goal and puts us in the lead. Who says we need an extra defender? We don't need one right here. And Isaac with a nice shot. Top corner. Alright, here's Conte on the ball. Conte will give it back to Locatelli. I see Bailey right here. Bailey goes for a shot, and it hits a defender. Alright, here's Leon Billy making a nice run. I'm gonna try to send a nice through ball to Isaac. Take a fake shot. Can we go for a goal? And at this time, it gets saved by the keeper. Alright, so now I'm gonna make some substitution right now. Let's take off Locatelli off for Elena. I'm gonna take off Bailey for Orne Crew. And take off uh, Geraldus for um, Cook. It's a nice through ball to Orne Crew. Orne Crew with a fake shot. Can we get the ball away to Conte? Conte's shot gets blocked. Holy shit, kept it in. Oh, if I knew he was going to get that, I would have probably played continued. And there we go. That's a full-time whistle. Being a man down, we still managed to get a 1-0 result. We scored even though uh, being a man down. Isaac the goal scorer, and I'll just take that. All right, so a man in the match went to Locatelli, who this time got the assist. He gets an 8.7. Isaac, who's scoring the goal again, gets an 8. Exactly. Alright, so the player I said I was waiting for was Michael Keane. I've offered Villarreal 21 million. Yes, he went to Villarreal for some reason. Um, Villa, 21 million is a offer they Villarreal has accepted. So here I'll just offer his wage, 35,000 a week. That's all he wants for three years and submit offer. Alright, so Michael Keane has finally accepted his contract and now it's time for a decision. Um, Michael Keane or Callum Chambers? I know I've waited. Uh, um, extra while for Michael Keane to accept his contract but again uh, if you look at them um, they both have the same potential as well but just obviously Michael Keane um, obviously being a higher rated overall at the start and he's probably still is a higher rated overall so he's more expensive um, I looked into his stats more carefully I think uh, Michael Keane if I sign him right now he'll be 82 overall and Callum Chambers will be a 79 overall so just three overalls but uh, for three overalls it's 11 million uh, difference but at the same time Keane's uh, wage is way less than uh, Callum Chambers is. There's a two year difference as well. Um, Callum Chambers will also play right back, but with our formation, right back, uh, playing right back, it's not necessary. Um, so it's a tough choice. Um, uh, here, if we sign Callum Chambers, we could weaken Arsenal. Um, Villarreal, I don't really care if we weaken Villarreal. It's just Villarreal. Um, but we do have a lot of budget left, so like, I'm, I, I could afford both of them e even, but again, I'm not going to do that, uh, make that decision. Oh, shit. 
You know what? I actually can't decide because um, they're both really good uh, defenders. Um, I don't know. It's just, do I go for the cheaper one? Um, I mean, if I, I could buy Cal Chambers and then <laughs> get him better and then maybe sell him. Or I could get Michael Keane. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to do random, okay? First time ever in any career mode, I'm going to select a player by random. And let's see uh, what happens. Whatever I stop at is the player I'm gonna sign. So let's start it. Okay, just wait a few while. I'm gonna close my eyes as well. Okay, so I don't know who's at right now. And when I open my eyes, that's the player we're gonna sign. Okay, Callum Chambers it is. <laughs> okay, so welcome Callum Chambers to the club. And I'm sorry, Michael Keen, you're gonna have to stay in Spain. And there we go, our front three, is, uh, our back three, not front three, our back three is finally finalized. I actually changed the order as well. I put Sar on the left center back and I put uh, Callum Chambers on the right center back and uh, John Stones uh, in the middle. The uh, reason is why is um, Malang Sar can also play left back while Callum Chambers can also play right back and John Stones can only play as a center back so I thought maybe this might work. Alright, so now we've received a transfer offer for Emmanuel Locatelli. Swansea are offering us 26.5 million for him. It's valued at 18.5 million, and the executive says we could get a potential 29 million for him. But I'm gonna reject this offer. Locatelli is one of our best midfielders. He's been with us since the start of this career mode, so I'm just gonna reject this. Alright, so now we got offer for Nagolo Conte, an 87 rated center midfielder. Um, Spurs are offering us 45 million. Potentially, our uh, executive says we can get even 60 million out of this. Holy shit! Okay, if Spurs offer us 60 million, I think I might be willing to accept this. Might be, I don't know. But again, at the, at the same time, it's pretty late, so I'm just gonna reject it. It's like we have we have like only a few hours left. Even if I do sell him, I have no time to sign another replacement, so I'm just gonna reject it. Alright, so there we go. We're in the last hour of the tr uh, transfer deadline day, and here's of all the signs we made. We bought in 28 million worth of players in, and uh, brought out 23.2 million worth of players out. Top deals are uh, Snabria to uh, 9 United for 38.5, Pereira to Dortmund for 34.5, and, and then Gabby Adini again to Man United for 34 million. Um, here's the latest deal as well. Uh, I believe I, sh I saw news that um, Man City bought Gabriel. Um, not Gabriel. I think it's Gabriel Jesus. Is that his name? No. Um, they bought another Gabriel from Brazil as a striker. And I don't know why they have two strikers now named Gabriel. And yeah, we'll just simulate the last hour. Alright, so right before I end this episode off, I'm going to simulate uh, one more game against Peter Bro in the FA Cup. It's a small team. It's a round of four as well. So hopefully we get the win. I'm going to uh, be simulating the game with my first team. So hopefully we get the win there we go okay emory moore scores the winning goal in the 63rd minute and we get the 2-1 result okay so i don't think i showed you guys the premier league table in a while so i know in this episode we only played two uh games in the premier league one against stoke which we drew against and one against watford who are right now as you can see sitting in 18th place and stoke in eighth um we're currently still sitting on top of the league right here with 47 points um seven points ahead of our second place swansea and uh, third place Burnley. Holy shit! You would never expect those two teams <laughs> to be fighting for the Premier League title with us. Um, Spurs and Arsenal are fighting for that fourth space. Looks like um, they both have 38 points. Chelsea with 36, and Palace are rivals with uh, 35 points. They're sitting in seventh. Relegation teams right now are Watford, Norwich, and Austin Villa. Austin Villa look like they're going up and down each time. Um, and Sunderland got relegated last time. It's kind of weird seeing uh, a Premier League table without either Newcastle or Sunderland. So, and yeah, so that'll be it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode and the signings we made. Um, hope you guys are okay with me signing John Stones and Colin Chambers, and okay with me selling Diego Reyes as well. So yeah, um, make sure to leave a huge like if you enjoyed this episode. It really helped me a lot if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time, the next episode. Edward on the ball. Edward is pretty tiny himself. Goes for a shot. Holy shit! Oh my goodness! And the end there. Do it in my own move.